What's up, super people? My name is Aaron Oster. I am a number one best-selling author on Amazon, and today I am going to talk about my last release of 2020, uh, Sun Scorched, the eighth book uh, in my main series, Rise to Omniscience. Um, this is the 30-day check-in. Um, I'm going to show you guys the uh, sales, uh, how many sales I got, how many Kindle page reads I got, um, what my profit on the book was, and uh, how I think the series is going to pan out, because it is ending with book 10. Um, so, with that said, if you could destroy that like button and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Uh, and with that said, um, let's get right into the video. Oh, one more thing before we start. Age of Ancients. Yes, my first release of the year. New series, uh, exciting new world, and all that other stuff is releasing January 27th. So uh, save the date, and if you want a uh, beta arc read uh, copy, uh, an advanced reader copy, just shoot me an email uh, down below, Aaron at AaronAusterAuthor.com. I will add you to the list. Spots are limited, and uh, they're almost full. So if you want a free copy... Um, yeah, just shoot me an email, let me know. So, uh, to start things off, uh, we're going to turn around, and I'm going to show you guys the landing page of the book. Um, we'll go through the sales, and then I'm going to go into a bit more of, uh, what I did with this book. Um, now, just to be clear, this is the eighth book in the series, so things like advertising and, uh, you know generally telling people about it, um, like, constantly, like I'm doing with Age of Ancients, isn't as necessary, because you've built yourself up a crowd by that point, you have a longer pre-order period, so people can see the book is, you know, I, I throw this book up like a month before the release date now, um, whereas with a new book, I will put it up with maybe four or five days, uh, just so it can get ranked in the Kindle store, and that it gets a little bit of visibility. Um, otherwise, it'll drop way too much. Amazon will stop promoting it to people. Um, so when it comes to an eighth book in a series, there isn't really much you have to do in terms of advertising. If you've already built yourself up a fan base, all you got to do is tell them, hey, uh, this is the date when the book is coming out. Um, for me personally, I always stick it in the back of my books. Um, I'll show you guys... Um, I'll click on the Read Now feature and show you as soon as I've gone through um, in the back of the book. So here we go. We're going to do the uh, turnaround thing, and uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Mission accomplished. Okay, so as you can see, we are on the landing page of Sunscorch, Rise to Omniscience Book 8. As you can see, it has 95 ratings at this point, uh, average 4.7 stars. Now, as far as reviews go, um, here you can see the rest of my series. It is kind of low compared to other books, and I honestly think it's because of how long it is. Um, if you look at Stormforge over here, right, it's got 253 reviews. Um, and I told people at the end of Stormforge that if you leave me reviews, I'll make the next book longer. They did, and I made Silver Spear longer, and when I told them the same thing about Silver Spear, as you can see, there are fewer reviews on Silver Spear than Stormforge. Then I told them the same thing at the end of this book, um, sorry, at the end of this book, Sand Queen, and as you can see, it has the most reviews, um, between, uh, these three. So, I'm assuming that, uh, book nine is gonna have more reviews than book eight. Um, so right now, yeah, Super Mage still, uh, has the most reviews at 369. I really would like to see Starbreak, the second book, you know, get to that over 200 points. So if you've read it and you haven't left a review yet, I would really appreciate it. Um, right now, as far as Kindle Store ranking, it's sitting at 97.31, which, uh, you know, isn't bad. Still under 10,000 at this point, and it's been pretty consistent, which, uh, which is nice. Um, so moving up here now, I'm going to show you guys uh, one of the things I always do um, when, I, um, when I finish writing a book. So as you can see right over here, we're at the, we're at the back matter of the book now. Uh, shoot, hold on a second. <laughs> uh, this is my little preview from Age of Ancients. Uh, I did a live stream last night, by the way, uh, where I read a chapter of Age of Ancients. So if you are interested in watching that uh, and you missed the live stream, you can watch it. 
Um, so as you can see right over here is my afterword, the back matter, me telling everyone about Age of Ancients. This right over here is where I leave the links to those Facebook groups that I'm always talking about. Um, then I'll link my, my website, my, my YouTube channel, my other social media, and Patreon. Um, I will credit my beta readers over here. And right over here, you can see it says coming next. And this is where... A lot of my readers get their info on my upcoming releases here. I will tell people generally the next three books that I have planned. And this is how they know um, what books will be coming next uh, in the series. Um, so when you've built yourself up a bit of a following, always put your stuff either at the back of the book or at the front of the book. I like sticking it in the back because I don't like too much stuff in between you know, the start of the book and when the actual story starts because people tend to just skim right through that to get to the story. When you're at the end of the book and people want to see more, that's when I find that they will, you know, read the little extra bits you've got back there, especially me knowing that I have all my stuff back there. Um, I find that more people, um, you know, will read over here. Um, and throwing in a little preview of your next books... Uh, doesn't hurt. Just make sure that it isn't too long. You know, just a couple of chapters. Um, you know, no more than like five or six thousand words. Because uh, if your book is, you know, a hundred thousand uh, words and you throw in like twenty thousand words of your next book, um, Amazon will not like that. Um, and your readers won't like it either. Okay. Um, moving on now, uh, we're going to take a quick peek over here at the Kindle Unlimited page count. Um, we've got 916 for this book. Like I mentioned, it is the longest book I have ever written. It's a monster of a book. It took me a long time to write this. Um, right over here, as you can see, the pre-order for this book was 416, which is about two-thirds of the last book in, in, in the series, Silver Spear. Um, going on to sales over here, we can say total sales for the, uh, the first 30 days, uh, 823. Uh, actual units sold. Paperbacks were eight. Um, Kindle books, 815. So it is a good deal less than the last book, Sand Queen. I don't remember the numbers off the top of my head, but I know that Sand Queen was closer to a thousand, I think. So you know what? Not a huge drop, but uh, definitely less. And that's what you'll see with every book um, going on. But again, whenever you put out a subsequent book in a series, Sorry about the camera. It is forever misbehaving. Whenever you put out a subsequent book in a series, the previous ones will always get a nice little bump. Um, as you can see here, it gives me more detail of where I did my sales. And no shocker there, the U.S. did give me uh, the most, followed by the U.K., which um, is a thing that is nice with Amazon, that uh, you know, you can sell all over the world. Um, moving on to Kindle Unlimited page reads, and ooh, this is a doozy. 1.73 million page reads. Wow, it is a lot of page reads. Um, and like I said, the much longer, the much higher page read count is due to the higher number of actual pages in the book. Um, just for clarification, I think Super Mage. Um, was it about 3.3 million pages in the first 30 days compared to this? Uh, and Super Mage, uh, Super Mage's page count, uh, is less than half of this. So, um, you can see a clear difference between, um, you know, book one and a book eight. But again, 1.73 million page reads, you're not going to hear me complaining about that. I am very happy. Uh, now moving on to... Uh, how many copies that is all together. So we've got 823 here, uh, 1.734. I've already typed in the math over here. So, uh, you know, divided by 916 gives us 1,893 copies sold. I always round down just to be safe. And we're going to be adding the uh, 823 copies right over here that I actually sold. And that gives me a total of 2,716 total units sold. Um, uh, of this book. Um, so we are moving back here 
to the royalties in the month of December. Uh, as you can see, um, the book made $9,116.57. The total expense on this book was right around $3,000, so a bit higher than usual. So in the month of December, I posted a profit of a little over $6,000, which was very, very nice. Um, and moving on to my January um, earnings. Um, now, I have so far made $1,331.37 on this book in January. I do have to cut out uh, the 10th from that estimate um, because they don't actually let me do that. So it'd be roughly $1,285, $1,290. Twelve eighty-five. We'll go with that. Um, so I am going to add twelve eighty-five and one thousand uh, nine thousand one hundred and sixteen. Okay, and that gives me a grand total of ten thousand four hundred and one dollars on this book in the first month, with a profit of a little bit over seven thousand dollars. So, yeah, um, this book did, I think, profit a bit more than Sand Queen um, in total of overall cash, but it did cost me about $800 more to put this book out, and it also took me, I'd say, somewhere in the realm of 20 to 25 hours longer to write this book than it did to write Sand Queen. Uh, this book was 180-ish thousand words versus Sand Queen's, like, 130-ish. So, almost a full half book longer, um, if you're going by the, the 100,000, um, base count uh, on books. So, much longer, uh, a lot more time that went into it, uh, a lot more effort, because the longer the book, the harder it is. Like I said, it is easier to write two short books than one massive book of the exact same size. Um, so in terms of advertising, like I said, I don't really use Amazon ads all that much. I have Amazon ads running on one book uh, that is the first in the series uh, because the ROI on Amazon ads is just horrible for me. Like I said, I just use Facebook groups, um, my own website, my own social media to spread the word on that. Um, I I'm trying to think... Um, as far as my writing schedule, as I say in a lot of, uh, my other videos, I write, uh, seven to 8,000 words a day. I do all of my work in the early morning, starting at around 6 a.m., where you have no distractions and it's easier to focus. Leave your phone in another room. Um, just buckle down, focus, make sure to outline all of your work beforehand, um, I think I'm going to do another video just talking specifically about, um, my outlining process. I'm going to go into a bit more detail on that and, uh, try and actually script the video out a bit in advance so I'm not sort of fumbling for words and trying to figure out what I'm saying while I'm actually recording the video. Uh, so now that we are at the end of the video, I'm, I'm, uh, going to throw a little announcement out over here. Um... I am looking for my first uh, author to publish under my uh, self-publishing uh, company through Amazon, GFS Publishing. Uh, I am looking for my first author, and I will be picking, uh, I will be offering that deal to one of my lucky subscribers. Uh, so if you are someone who likes to write, um, and you've been struggling, you've been having a hard time, uh, I will be offering a, um, yeah, wait for it here, a $3,000 book deal. Uh, so if you're subscribed, if you're interested, comment down below. I will be doing a video either later this week uh, with more details on that. Uh, so if you're interested, make sure you comment. Spread the word around for struggling authors, uh, people who think they've got what it takes. Uh, so yeah. Uh, I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Smash that like button, subscribe, check out all the links down below for my books and audiobooks. Age of Ancients is going up for pre-order January 22nd and will be releasing on the 27th. I'm going to do more videos on that video. Uh, I'm going to be doing more videos on that book uh, next week. 
So thank you guys so much for watching. Keep being super, and I will see you all next time.